Welcome back, guys. Slow back in here. Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign. Grab yourselves a cuppa, grab yourselves a coffee, a tea, a coke, a beer, whatever. Just grab something, mate. Don't, uh, don't grab yourself, though. That's a bit odd. Hmm. Lovely jubbly. Well, I put a vote out there because uh, I wanted to play a Chaos Faction. I was like, I was kind of set on what faction I wanted to play, but I thought I'd put the vote out. You guys can decide. Um, and thankfully, with 47% of the vote, maybe the most overwhelming vote we've ever had, uh, Corn is going to be our new campaign. Load campaign. It's, no, not load. Start, mate. Start. No. I'm looking forward to this. When you think of Chaos, you think of Corn, right? I think that's why the vote was so much in Corn's favour. 47% of the vote last time I looked. We, do, we don't need to watch that. No, I've seen that before. Yeah, like you think, what is chaos? It's the corn units, essentially. Um, right, let's go into it. I have not played this course. This is quite exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be playing with Scarbrand the Exile. That's the only legendary or currently available for corn. Uh, faction affects army replenishment in foreign territory. Wow, that's so strong. Uh, diplomatic relations minus 20 with Cornite factions, whatever that is. Uh, campaign movement range 25% after raising a settlement. Wow. Uh, and campaign movement range 35% after winning a battle and recruitment cost minus 35% when an enemy or raised territory. Ooh. We're going to play legendary, of course, because that's how you roll. Very hard as, as far as we can go. I don't know why there's no legendary battle. Whatever. Uh, we don't need that stuff, do we? No, let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm having a beer myself, to be honest. I'm a couple deep. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, right? Uh, Heineken is my poison of choice currently. Uh, for those of you who do partake, what do you partake in? Let me know in the comment section down below. Lovely. Had a nice burger for dinner, too. Oh. There's a place over here, it's called Reburger. Oh my god, it's the best burgers ever. And not only is it the best burgers, it's the best chips as well. My god, it's so good. It's freaking expensive, but it is so good. I wouldn't say it's worth it. <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. It's like, oh, McDonald's burgers and that type of thing, they just don't stack up, mate. It's just not, it's not even the same thing. It's a different meal altogether. Why is my chair so creaky, man? Jesus. Calm down. Man, Warhammer 3 is getting slammed at the moment, eh? It's not a lot of people liking it. I understand why, but... Not because the game's bad, just the updates and stuff. But it doesn't affect me because I've only just started playing, right? Yeah. Uh, we are one campaign in, and I know... I will not tell you what happened in the other campaign. Because this video is coming out quite a wee while, actually, before the other one finishes. The Ogre Kingdoms campaign that we're currently playing. Also. Man, look at this unit, though. This is, yeah... This is corn, man. So good. Just a solid, massive metal, right? That's all it is. Man, I wish I'd do something with these low times, though. They are ridiculous. Now, to be honest, I actually made the thumbnail and stuff to play corn like two weeks ago before I even put the vote up. <laughs> that's, a, that's how determined I was to play corn next. Ah, oh, yeah, whatever. If you guys pick something else, I would have played that too. We would have got to corn eventually. But Corn was definitely one I was looking forward to playing, just because, yeah, like I say, they are chaos. I'm kind of looking forward to um, Undivided as well, whatever it's called. Legion of Chaos is what it's called, eh? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that as well, because you can kind of make your own lord. I was watching a video on it last night. I can't remember who made it. Apologies, whoever that was. It was a really good video. Um, and talking about all the different aspects and stuff like that, how you can equip them, you know, put the different arms and legs and heads and stuff on them. Oh, that's so cool. Right, so this is this, because we haven't heard it before. Jagged rocks and rivers of fire. Here, I found the greatest of all bloodthirsters. Bones of all that walked or crawled littered his lair. Scarbrand, rage incarnate. I had but a moment to make my case. The time it took to sharpen his murderous blades. The demon had spent millennia harvesting skulls to earn the forgiveness of his master, the Chaos God, Korn. The skull of Urson would gain his favor. What do you know of Korn's favor? 
nothing, mighty Scarbrand. I am but a servant, ready to aid your slaughter. I can smell the magic on you, seer. I'll take your skull. Why take mine, when you can have the skull of a god? Let me guide you through the maelstrom to where Belagor imprisons the bear. Take his skull. All I want is a drop of Ursan's blood. Keep your skull. Give me the bear. One skull for the throne. The rest are mine to collect. Skulls for the skull throne. Nice. I assume this guy's quite good melee lord. Given Harry looks. Find me skulls, little man. Why is everyone walking on the map? That's cool. At once, mighty Reaper. The whole region is awash with heads that will easily be parted from their necks. Here is your first prey. A mortal army wishing to catch the gaze of the blood god. Instead, they draw your attention. Slaughter the mortal insects that infest this region and claim blood fire falls as your own. Further afield, you'll find plenty more enemies to rip asunder. The forces of hated Slanish tower at the monolith. Or perhaps seek out more of Korn's disciples. Not to ally with, of course. But to kill. For your father cares not from where the blood flows. In the south, you may encounter green skins. Then there are the Norse, mortals who will worship you if you let them, or introduce them to your twin axes. If you continue your trail of destruction south, then even richer lands shall be in reach. The fragile souls of Kislev and the Empire. That looks really good. It's obviously Empire too. Rise to ultimate power. Only the spineless occupy such settlements. Followers of Corn bring slaughter, raising everything until there is naught but blood-stained ruins. The more skulls you take the easier it will be to enter the realm of chaos and seek the dying god. Okay. So, let the blood harvest begin. Let it begin. <laughs> so automatically war with any non-chaos faction, that's fine. Uh, collect skulls and battle. Raising settlements, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Armies of Cornate factions accumulate bonuses that they win multiple consecutive battles. Blah blah blah. There is blood to let. Right, so that's our skulls. Couldn't put 10 turns if I get that. But we get Campo move range 25%, and Campo post battle loot 25%, army ability summon the beyond, which is a unit of blood leaders, and we get blood host plus two unit creation. Nice. Uh, money all looks generic. Let's have a look at our man. Four sixty-five melee attack, armor piercing, large chunk, large chunk of that actually three twenty-six melee attack, melee attack, and melee defense are very high speed. It's very fast too. Leadership's high, armor, a lot of life as well, 7k. It's passive ability, but it hurts himself. <coughs> it was like an AoE movie. No, it's direct damage, so it can't be AoE. Uh, spell is as far as this, he's got Frenzy as well. Good lord. Actually, 10% damage, so it's going to take him up closer. It's actually, take him over 500 damage. Siege attacker as well, and he can rampage, <coughs> which is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, Root March uh, standard, 
blue line, I imagine. Lightning strikes will definitely be going for that. And obviously the cheaper units as we go up that way. Rage incarnate. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? Should we build... <coughs> sorry, I don't know why my throat's going crazy. Um, should we build the army... Oh, sorry, but should we build the lord to buff the army or we want to buff him? Let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll do that. We won't see any points at all. Uh, episode 2 on him. Well, we're going to get root marcher. Sorry, we'll get root marcher. But then, yeah, do we want to go this... Actually, we'll do this line first. And then you guys can decide. Do we want to go army or we want to buff him? Make him crazy good. Oh, he's got the same quest. A quest battle for this item will be at rank 10. Okay, cool. cool, cool. Uh, so what's he got? It's a different type of rampage. Okay. Uh, he can vanguard. That's interesting. Uh, and 15% campaign movement range after winning a battle. That's really good, actually. Ooh, so it's that. 50% weapon damage, 50% armor piercing damage, but causes rampage. Okay. Uh, passive region. Oh my god, that's so good. Control corn corruption for us. Uh, blood host plus three units on creation. All characters all face. Wow, those are really strong buffs. Uh, he doesn't get a mount or anything, but he does come at 80 speed, so he probably doesn't actually need that. Passive ability, another 25% we're doing is 25% armor piece again. Holy hell, this guy does a lot of damage. Uh, sorry, phone is making weird noises. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think we buff him first, right? We will do whatever you guys say, but I, uh, yeah, I think buffing him is probably a good idea. Guy's so cool looking too. Yeah, this damage is just crazy. It's so much different than our last guy, um, Greasus, who was like 35 speed. This guy's 80 speed. That's mount speed. Uh, blood layers of corn, anti-infantry, armor piercing. Really? Yeah, they are. Uh, melee attack, uh, sorry, melee defense is very low, but the melee attack is uh, its not massively high. I suppose only at 35, but it's decent. Uh, the Blood Crushes of Corn, cavalry unit. Uh, again, bonus versus infantry, armor piercing. The melee attack is decent. Melee defense is also actually quite decent. Speed's very slow. They're more like a, a heavy cavalry, aren't they? Doesn't actually say, but yes, they are. Armored armor piercing. I've uh, got a couple of Chaos War... Oh, sorry, one unit of Chaos Warhounds, which is pretty generic. And we've got a Blood Shrine, which is anti-infantry flaming attacks. Decent damage. It's really good damage. Bugger all uh, melee defense, but I assume being a shrine, it buffs units around it. Effective range, yeah, 35 meters. Melee attack, melee defense. 68 speed as well. That's a very fast army. Oh, those guys are slow at 38. Okay, we've got to be careful of them. Cast Fury is available as well, which is a, a harpy type of unit, of course. Uh, weapon Strength 44. Man, a lot of damage again. This is a very fast army. Alright, let's have a look at our settlement. No, what's this? Why is there two different versions of the same thing? Can be converted into a portal. Can be converted into, into a bastion. Okay. So it's currently... A bastion, I guess. But if we go that way, we get ca oh, we can oh, geez, those guys are slow. Uh, very tough though. Hundred armor, silver shielded. Forty metal of defense. Yeah, they're really tough. Is that the only way to get them? No, you get them there too. Okay, so it's corn. We're gonna get that as well because we're gonna get the cultist of corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrison. We obviously need that. Control need that as well, playing legendary. There's not a lot of buildings, to be fair. Minotaurs, Blood Ushers, Skull Crushers, Blood Shrine, and... Blood... Two Blood Shrines? Two... Ah, oh, Skull Cannon, sorry. Oh, yeah, Skull Cannon, all that. Ah, uh, Spawn of Corn, uh, Exalted Blood Letters of Corn, and the Blood Letters of Corn, Rise of Chaos, Dual Weapons, uh, cast Warriors of Corn with Halbergs and Gorby's Chariot. Flesh Hound of Corn. Those Furies. And Soul Grinder of Corn as well. Minotaurs are great weapons. 
Bloodthirster, Blood Reaper, Murders of Corn, all of that stuff. There's not actually a lot of units, is there, really? All right, let's look at this again. So, what's the difference? This gives defensive supplies. As you say, is that? That one gives plus two control. We actually probably need to go that way just to get the control part of it. This actually grants two construction slots. This is all you does. I think based on the fact we're playing leisure, we kind of need to go that way. To fear. Or that way, essentially. Can we go from there to there? Or do we have to go across and then up? It seems like a waste of money if I can't. If I can just go there. I'm going to hold off until we get two, just because I don't know. It doesn't, there's no diagonal line, so I'm guessing you can't. Actually, I'm not going to. We're just going to build it. Um, and what else do we want to build here? Um, there's a lot of stuff for our garrison. I think we need to go defensive here. I don't particularly want to, but I think we need to. I kind of want this dude, to be fair, so I can get one of my agents up and running early. Exalted heroes. Uh, yep, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Do you have an agent on the field currently? Nope. Just don't. Okay, we're gonna go smash this in a second. Um, oh, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, because we're already in, we're already corn essentially. We still have to go into the land. Okay, interesting. And fight that. So the win conditions are the same as ogres. Got to do the four different battles and then win the final battle. Can I click this? Yes. Gonna cost me two thousand skulls. What's the two unit, what's the blood host two units of creation? I don't understand this two what that is. So the more higher we get, the bigger we faster we grow, the more we replenish, the more corruption we cause. Global recruitment. So yeah, the better we do, the better we do, essentially. Um uh, of magic. Rating is probably going to be our main stance. We do get one skull per turn for each one of those. But we get attrition from it. I guess it's kind of... They fight each other, right? That's the combat trials. They're like fighting within the camps. Like training and stuff. And all sorts of good stuff. You're right. Yeah. Um, do we want to do this? Do we want to do this? We were going first, actually. We want this region, right? It's a big region, too. We could go for that one. We've got to get these two here as well, though. Right, let's go for this dude first. He is a quest anyway, so let's do it. How big is he? He's tiny. I'm going to smash this dude. This is going to be embarrassing for him. Decisive victory! We will not want to resolve on that first battle. Got to fight that one, right? Right, let me check my phone on song. Let's do going off in the background. It's hard work being popular, Liz. Right, get that. Like this. this is going to be so one-sided. That guy's going to be the only annoying one because I won't be able to catch him. Actually, I've got dogs. They'll catch them. Hounds. They'll catch them. I have a look at these units. Though. I haven't seen them yet. I mean, we know what they look like because we know what corn units look like. But actually seeing them in game ourselves? Awesome. My blood letters. These guys are only 62 speed. Not very fast at all. I'll get the ears for them. I'll give you guys in a minute. Uh, this guy, you got straight the guts, mate. You're fine. And this guy is slow, right? 68 speed. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. These guys are slow. <laughs> yeah, right. So he stays with them. Uh, big dude. He's not slow at all. No, we're not start battle. Wanna have a look? Wanna have a look at these units? Zoom in. Yeah, they're definitely an ugly version of hounds, aren't they? I can't like them. Very spiky. Very spiky. As most units of corn will be. 
Let's go see a fin as well. Can we get a side view of that? Oh, yeah. It's a pretty cool unit, actually. This like full on damage, eh? Look at this bloody thing, Jesus. It's motorized as well. There's like a um a bike or something, eh? Like a trike that you can get for a mount. That looks like it should be a really dangerous unit, but it's not particularly it's a buffer. God, he's massive. He's actually ginormous. I wish I could pause, but I can't, because it's legendary. But he is pretty cool. This freaking axe is bigger than these guys. This axe is actually the same height as that. <laughs> That's funny. He's so ginormous. It's probably way so fast, right? Because it's like one step is like 20 different steps. Man, these God, look at these mounts. That's corn, mate. Is there not a version of these with like a Chaos Warrior on top of them? I'm sure there is, right? I mean, there's not in the game, but I'm sure there is in the rule. Because that's what I think of when I think of corn. When I think of Chaos, is these guys with the Chaos Warrior on top. I might be a completely different unit. I'm just talking out my butt, really, but. You never know. Alright. Dude, we smash this man. This isn't even gonna be a contest. The god of war exalts in killing. Shed blood in the name of corn, and his favor will fall upon you. Okay, the more killing we do, the better they're gonna like us. I like it. So it gives us 24 melee attack. Wow, that's really strong. And he's slow because of these. How much melee defense are we? 50. He can probably just run that himself, honestly. Go, big fella. Is he anti infantry? No. Yeah, kill that little oh, oh, careful you. You're not very strong by yourself. Oh, go the Lord, go the Lord, go the Lord, go the Lord. Good point, good point, good point. Cover it! Doggos, you're gonna go kill that. Go, dude, go, 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 go. Yeah. God, look how freaking big he is. Oh, jeez, that's not fair. Oh, I kicked him! You can't be kicking people, mate. That's not fair. Oh, and a whirlwind. Jesus. Dogs have got that. These guys are in. He's in. These guys are coming. Man. Oh, I can't get over how big this guy is. Oh, man, that's a good charge. <laughs> Oh, I need to see him next to a giant or something. Oh, what do I push? Don't push that. Uh, uh, thanks, that's what I want. Thanks. Oh, oh what's this too? Does that, oh, does that cause rampage? Not make him rampage. Oh, that's cool. Should probably click on that. Yeah. Right, pop this too. Melee attack. Oh, it's a buff. Okay, I thought it was like a whole army type of buff type thing. Yep, they cleaned that up as we would expect. Cavalry clean the rest of this up. We annihilate this whole army over so good. I'll kill the Lord, he's fine. Get him, dude. Bring him over too. Let's see, 512 damage. 109 melee attack. 114 melee attack. Jesus. I'll kill this Lord if I can. In that unit. We're wiping this whole army out now. Oh, they may have escaped, actually. They may have escaped. Nice! Is that it? I'm left on the field. Oh, I see him over there. Get him. That's one dude. Get him. Marvin, run, bro! Run! They're coming! Go, dude. Go, 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 go. Yes, we're rooting for him. Go, go, go. I can't catch up. Oh, the hounds are here! Oh, he's dead. Oh! <gasps> Get out of the screen, I can't see. <laughs> he's not dead, he's alive. <laughs> oh, he made it. He shall live to see another day, that one marauder. Yes, the towels he's got to tell when he gets home, I tell you. Like, you have no idea what happened. Oh, it was crazy. I was running across the open field, freaking hounds chasing me. And all of a sudden, I was back home, woke up in my bed, mate. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I 
can't believe I don't even know. <laughs> All right, so we got favor. Uh, yep, yeah, maybe. Well, more skulls. Skulls with a skull throw, right? Oh, that's a lot of money. I don't really need money at this stage. Let's take the skulls. Oh, we got a blood reaper. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. A what? potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Add more demons to your army. Oh, I will also do that. Go away. Right, we're going to have a look at this dude because we don't actually know what he is. Oh, he's a trainer. Oh, that's so good to get this early. Does everybody get that or am I just super lucky? And more scouts. More scouts. More scouts. Tra training. Oh, so good. Obviously, we're buffing it. So he gets a juggernaut. Nice. Or a blood throne, actually. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I think we'll leave him on the juggernaut. Oh, I guess the Locust as well. Or Locust of Fury. I mean, this is the one I'm excited about training. Especially this year. He's a... Ah, oh, he's not actually that much of a damage dealer. I forget. And there's six. There's 11% extra damage there already. Oh, and there's weapon strength as well. Yeah, okay, we can make it. Oh, there's more weapon strength. Freaking hell. Oh, there's more weapon strength. So pretty much everything you can do is weapon strength. Okay, so we can make him into a quite a freaking unit. I'm going to take that off him and put it on this dude. Right. Then, oh, do I want to do this then? Well, no, I want to recruit anyway, so we're not moving this, this area. Um, do you want some harpies? I don't think we're going to get another Warhound. I think one unit of Harpy is another Bloodletter, right? Oh, we should get two. Oh, this so expensive. Go away. Oh, technologies too. Oh, my god. Um, campaign Revolution range 10% after raising. Press for loot 10%, income from rating 50%? Oh, I might have to go that way. Hang on. Grants Blood Feasters banner to your faction. Oh, it's just a banner. It's a region banner, though. That's pretty strong. Cold Corruption, all provinces. 5% chance to automatically colonize ruined regions in a province. Spell resist for all those units. Minus upkeep for Chaos Warriors of Corn. Or plus 20 scales per turn. But minus 10%. Oh, Chaos. Minus 10%. Oh, Chaos? I'm gonna kill them all. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, God. Summon a small hostile army that will attack the target army immediately. Oh. Oh, the more corruption we have? Yes. Thousand gives us campaign movement range of 50% for one turn. Scales gain from kills 100% for four turns. Local sentiments being raised upon completion. 10,000 scales. Oh, upon, comp uh, <laughs> upon completion. Okay, nice. Right, what's our next quest? Recruit two units while we're doing that. Wait, I've done both of these. That's why they ticked, right? Yeah. We're doing that one anyway. Oh, he leveled as well. Oh, we're doing the campaign movement. Well, I'm doing the bottom line, and then we're waiting for you guys to tell us what to do with the next one. That's the way. That's the way. I see why you guys want to play this. It's so good. Another 200 scales, mate. The brass glacier is inhabited by mere mortals from the Gaha tribe. Cover the walls with their blood. Brass. Yeah, that's where we're going. Do I want more units? There's only six in there. I don't know if there's an army there, though. There's not. Okay, we can do that. Uh, yep, let's do it. Smash it! 
Close victory. Medium casual. How much is medium casual? I don't think that's the case though. To be fair. Why have I got two? Oh, yeah, no, I did get two. How many souls? Right, then I'll fight it. I can't imagine with these two here we take a lot of casualties. To be fair, to be fair. The Harpies can kill that freaking thing. Not throwing bloody spears at me, mate. I have no idea where they are, of course. Doesn't matter. No shirt does not. Um, you go with them. These guys can come, they're about the same speed. Just give us a bit of buffer there. And then the infantry. You go there. Oh, excuse me. Stop drinking beer, mate, it's giving me the hiccups. Go, where's the spear dudes, mate? Right, over there. No, I'm gonna lock. These guys just want to run them over. Oh, that's cool. Like that. I don't think a rampage matters too much with only one unit, right? I mean, you can't land on there, dude. There's like multiple units. This guy's dead anyway. Oh, yep, he's not going to throw those at us. We're going to land on him. I don't even care anymore. Hold him up because our infantry is coming. Go, go, go. Oh, it gets 20% extra damage if it gets over 60 kills. Mm. Right, now I'll make them rage. Rampage, sorry, not rage. Not rampage. I mean, they're all dead. Uh, you guys got. No. I just want to see if they can break this wall down, but they can't. Shedding over your marauders now, or yeah, this army is freaking strong. I can already see it's going to be. I don't want to say unbeatable, but it's really strong, right? Like, what beats this? Ranged armies? But then these guys are really fast. In general. Obviously, you don't have to go full on these guys. But... Can you break that, actually? You can. You're actually tall enough just to walk over it, just about. Oh, yeah, good hit. Harvey's there a bit fragile. See if we can get them over here, attack this guy. This is a decent amount of damage. A gun or nah? Nice. Hmm. He's only hit it once. I was thinking. Let's go over there then. Right, we won. We won anyway. Is this less than medium casualties? I would imagine. I'd say that's low casualties to be fair. Good stuff mate, good stuff.
Oh, we're gonna occupy, it, right? So war. Someone's a blood hoses. So army cannot recruit or exchange units with other armies and will take damage over time, but its survival can be extended by fighting battles. Is it another army on top of this one and we, we sack the settlement, essentially? Or it's going to cost us 2,500 skulls to actually settle it. I and mean, I kind of want a base of operations. The region under the volcano's shadow is yours, mighty Scarbrand. Slaughter the fools that dawdle and trespass within its borders. So where's this one? Blood fire. Wait, what? Oh, it's the whole region. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Blood fire falls here, right. Um, so here we want to be... Income from all buildings, 30%. Do we gain a lot of income from our actual buildings? Huh? 40, not really. 40. Oh, they all kind of add up, I suppose. Now, if we're getting an extra 30% on top of that, yeah, and that guy's about done too. That's cool. Alright. Um... Sorry, do I want some of them? Yes. Am I, can I afford to get some of them? Maybe not. Hold off on that one, eh? The Wrathful Reaper. Uh, recruitment cost, casual replenishment rate, income from raiding. Well, I think we have to go with income from raiding, and then we get the other income from raiding thing, and then we get a lot of income from raiding, right? That's how it works. Uh, we've got 140. Let's go to the so slow. Right, let's just not build anything now. I'll head back over and try and get a uh, bridge of brass. Oh, he leveled as well. Nice. Oh, training. Go, 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 go. Yes, please. Three levels. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go there and start raiding. I can't raid this turn though, it's my next turn. Why do that on my own territory? What happens? I do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, did that guy finish? Okay. No, I'm building. Yes, 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 yes. So I get a weapon master. This guy's got a bad hat. <laughs> That's not cool. Uh, just call corruption though. Or melee attack, arm piercing. Uh, I'll get great to do with a bad hat. <laughs> so funny. So what? He's just a melee dude. We can summon blood letters and summon a blood thirster. But he's just a melee guy. Okay, that's cool. Same as uh, a Chaos Champion or whatever, right? Oh, can I get him in the army? I don't. If I go there, I don't. Have to, he doesn't go in, right? If I start raiding, how much do I need to go raiding? Twenty-five percent. Fifty. Oh, right. Right, get him in the army. The of this place weakens your warriors, my lord. Do not linger here without good reason. Oh. They've been pestilenced. It's from Nurgle. Oh. Okay, well, I can't raid this. I've got to hit that, right? Can um, we can't afford it? I'm going to. Although there's an army in there. A six, almost a full stack. I don't actually know if I can kill that. That's fifteen, man. 
Oh, I cannot kill that. Go in, and recruit. Oh man, this stuff is so freaking expensive. Does that help? No, it doesn't. I don't think I can do anything there. I think I have to go for that. It's gonna be the same thing, right? Oh, give me alright, give me raiding then. Oh. <laughs> oh, 59 gold. Spirit. I don't think I can attack that because of the army. I'm gonna have to go have a look at this. Yeah, there's no army there. Cool, cool. So we'll do that raiding one. Um, yep, 50% income from raiding. Oh, this has been plagued as well. Nurgle, cut it out, mate. Oh, hello. This is not for you. Who the frick is that guy? Okay, well, there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to be able to get back there in time. So let's carry on and smash this and turn around. Hang on, this has been part of this region. Sure isn't. Ah, oh. oh, that one is. Oh, you dummy. Okay. Well, that sucks. <coughs> Nothing I can do with that now. Too far away. So this guy has to get out of there. It's a full stack, though, of my warders. Are you not actually going to attack? Because I'll run over there and kill you. Do it. See if I can protect it. He's going to attack it this turn, surely. I don't know if there's anything I can really do to get over there. Holy manifestation. Okay, I have to force it. I don't get there otherwise. But we may have just saved those marauders. Are really cool. but we may have just saved it. Not may have, we have just saved it. So that's good. Yeah, bugger. So I'm going to have to push him then, right? The sediment's that way. Oh, actually, minus 25% recruitment. Oh, he's still very expensive. Oh, dude, I want some of these, but they're so slow. Alright, give me one then. That's ridiculously slow. Compared to the rest of my army, right? He had to have gone back to the settlement. Yeah. So I've got... Oh, it's only 10 actually. And how much in the settlement? 10. It's 20. God, that's a lot. The frick is that thing? Why is it all colourful like that? Man, it's a really good army. I don't know. Dude, I'm actually going to take attrition damage here after this turn. Oh, I can't keep this guy. Oh, I have to keep him. Right, they may push out. Yeah, they did. Okay. Do we win this? I mean, I'm really relying on my lords. How many have I got? Seven. Twelve. Does he start with them all together? He's got twenty. I'm outnumbered. Oh, 
Oh, my lord is very good, but I don't know if he's that very good. It's only marauders, they're not very fantastic. I'm hoping there's like two minutes before these turn up and I can smash both these armies individually. It's probably not the case since it's an army inside the garrison, but we can hope. We can hope. No, nah, they're already on the battlefield, Bucker. Okay, that sucks. I don't get to see them either. Right, you three have to perform so exceptionally well. I'm going to go like that. Because I need to put all my powerful things together. One unit of harpies over there. I won't win a battle harpy v harpy because he's got... AI boss. Maybe I have to crush these. And hit that to stop the charge. Isolate and crush these units. Oh, Kill this thing completely, please. So it's gone, it's gone. Good. That's a good start. It's a good start. Again, we're just trying to isolate units as best we can. Doing terrible. Oh, we're not doing amazing anymore. We're <laughs> not doing terrible. Anymore. Mm, 
think he's deteriorating himself though, right? fight my actual cost us. Well, I'd say we put up a pretty damn good fight, but oh, it's not going to be enough. if we had him in that we would have won. Mm, maybe. It would have been very, very close. It was pretty close as it was. But it would have been super close. Alright. That's tough. Yeah, we put up a real good fight though. I thought we might have had it once we annihilated those first few units. Ish. Oh lord, died. What to come out of there with next to nothing? Yeah, nothing. Oh, I lose those two you um, those two wards as well. Right, it's not over. It's just kind of tickles a wee bit. Uh, what? Cast Rebellion. Okay, maybe over. <laughs> Nothing I can get fast, eh? Nope. nope. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, did we finish the... Oh, we did, nice. I mean, if he attacked me, it's over. Simple as that. I'm gonna have to start again. Stupid. Oh, we won. <laughs> Stupid goblins. Oh, he didn't attack, but he is sieging us. Oh, it's such a bad army. Oh, I think I can probably win. Oh, when does my garrison come? Right. We win this, we can carry on. If we don't win this, we just have to start again. Oh, I don't have the towers. I have to wait for him to attack for my bugger. I've got to wait for him to attack anyway. This guy's going to have to just... Oh, I'm already there. Okay. Um, 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 this is cannon. Try and get away from it. It's over that side. Which means I'll go this side. Two lords. These two try and kill that cannon. We can 
chance. Ah, uh, you come this way and kill him. I'll use these half piece to kill the kin. Oh, it's got mortars over here too. Okay, kill this one. It's actually mostly fast stuff, isn't he? Right, kill the kin. It's isolated. Cannon's over the other side, so let's not worry about it for right this second. Doing a pretty good job capturing all this fast stuff. Is we don't know where his cannon is. You two should have to kill that stuff. Oh, look, they're not even trying to run away. <laughs> but you know that 28 speed can catch you, you're not even trying. Because I'm pretty sure we win the melee fight. As long as you don't come and hurt, I suppose, right? Too hurt, you know. Two lords are quite healthy, so that's good. That's most of their range stuff gone. Why? 
from Harpies. Let's have a look around here, see what they've got. We've got one fast pound left. Really protecting that. Oh, okay. Well, if we go for that, I can bring these guys up. Yep, that's it. Turn the cannon onto him. That's a good idea. Bell in the middle here would be so good. Dogs don't run in. Get in there, get in there, get in there. You've got to kill that cannon. Most of the units are over there. That's the Lord, this one. Right, do I have enough left? Maybe not. Definitely not. Ah, bugger. Oh, you don't win every uh, legendary campaign, that's for sure. I think we did pretty well though, actually. Just need to restart that again and not run into the wrong territory, which obviously cost us a lot. And then we should be fine. Like, so, the units are so expensive. Yeah, alright. Well, it's not our end anyway. We will be back, of course. Give that one another crack. Alright, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you didn't, remember to hit that like. But it really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.